If you love the idea and all the storage and the bigger bathroom you get with the front bathroom, but you dislike the idea of these, you know, 14,000 pound monster front bathrooms, well then congratulations. You're probably really going to enjoy the 336 FBOK Eagle here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan, because it's a little bit of a smarter front bathroom, a little better for traveling uh, with a more intelligently designed size, weight, feature complement that is very good for towing and going, but still provides that big camping, big living experience when you get there. One of the uh, kind of impressive facets of this one is that when the slides are closed, the way that they design their kitchen here is you can really still get to a bulk of the refrigerator. Now, the left door here won't fully open. The right door will fully open, but you see there's no partition between them. So if you do need to open that a little bit, you can really get to this whole fridge and the freezer is very obviously accessible in transit. Now, this trailer at the time of this part of this filming is actually still hooked up to the RV delivery truck. So this is your big box for the big living room TV. Normally it wouldn't be here and you'd be able to get to this side of the dining table and a pair of foldaway guest chairs will see in a little bit we'd offer you two seating areas uh, at a quick travel stop. Now one of the other neat parts about this is being a bath and a half model, very easy access to a traveling bathroom if you need to you know, hit the uh, you know, facilities real quick. And then if you do need to, um, obviously we could uh, get to the master bed right here uh, for you know, an overnight travel stop without opening slide. Now the first thing I wanna address in here is the decor. This is called the American Tradition Decor. This is that kind of general brown wood tones, dark brown furniture. Um, very, uh, you know, conservative, very common. It looks like a lot of other things out there, and it looks good. They did a very nice job executing this. However, Jayco, only in the Eagle series, offer, uh, also offers something called the Modern Farmhouse, which when we get one in, I'm probably going to circle back and update this footage. And it has like a, uh, a near white decor, basically. It's got a, an off-white wood tone with gray fabric. So if this is feeling dark and oppressive to you, don't worry. We probably got a different one in stock for you uh, in lighter wood tones that maybe won't feel so oppressive. Now, this is also the same living room. I mean, identical living room. If we're looking at what we're looking at right now is the same as a 317 RLOK Jayco Eagle. So if you don't like the front bathroom, you want a more traditional bathroom and bedroom that will actually shorten the RV a little bit, then look at the 317 that we also carry here at Halet RV. This is actually the one that we're in here. This is a customer's custom ordered unit. And um, the, uh, uh, you know, if they, they we had a 336 in stock. And they went, yeah, I'm just not in love with that. Here's what I would like. And we said, no sweat. Because guys, this is a really big deal. This is a big purchase. There's a lot of money involved and we don't want you to settle. We want you to be very happy with what you get. Now, Eagle was one of the very first in fifth wheels that went to the Whisper Quiet Ducted Air. They weren't the first, but they were one of the very first. They were also the first to address the fact that the original um, Whisper Ducted Air system that was out there in the industry, um, it had inferior air flow. Well, they, were, they went through, and that was back in like 2015, and they fixed that. So their Whisper Ducted system actually has more airflow than a non-quiet cooling air conditioning system, which is really neat. Plus, it's roughly about a third quieter, so you don't have to crank the TV up so darn loud to hear it. Now, back here, what we start with is a trifold sleeper sofa. But if you're paying attention, you might notice that one of those two theater recliners can still open up even with the height of bed open to give you that extra sleeping capacity back here. So this is a couple's camper, but it does have sleeping for four or five in it, which is pretty darn cool. Now, all windows are gonna open for airflow in an Eagle, even those what I call toothpick windows beside the sofas. So even the windows on the sides of the rear sofa will give you some great airflow. All of the woodwork you're going to see in here is going to be a cut above, like all of our slide fascia, nice hardwood stuff, cabinet door framing hardwoods, our cabinet doors you can see are hidden hinged so that they have a nice clean look and appearance to them and they are all pocket screwed for longer lasting. You'll also find that they use a very heavy, aggressive, uh, um, high intensity LED lighting package in here. And if I back up another step, one of the other things that's really neat on the Eagles, they have dimmer lighting, which is kind of cool. If I can figure out which switch I need to put my thumb on, there we go. Now it will remember the last known position and when you, uh, so you can swell it up or swell it down and you can leave it wherever and however you want. 
Now, even those pendant lights right there also have the, uh, the dim effect to them, as do the lights above the uh, dining. Um, so even these lights over here have the same thing going on. So if you want to do set, a, you know, either a little mood scenario, or if it's just movie time and you don't want the lights blinding you, you don't have to worry about it. Now, a uh, couple things over here. There is storage behind this big swing out TV and above it. Remember, the outside kitchen is down behind this electric space heating fireplace. Now, if you prefer to have all the windows on the door side of the RV, that's also very simple. They call that a 321 RSTS Eagle. So they make like three or four very similar versions of something like this. Um, also very similar to the 3120 Montana we'd have here, the uh, 310 Cougar, etc. There's several models that are very similar to this that you can find in our lineup with all the windows over here. But uh, again, this one offers the outside kitchen. Now you still have all the same windows. Remember guys, they're just over here. You don't lose anything. All they've done is move it around a little bit. <coughs> Pardon me. I am losing a fight with some allergies right now. I don't know what's in the air, but it's got my name all over it. So Bluetooth, DVD, you can turn your phone into a Bluetooth remote with a free app to control this thing. It's got face-mounted HDMI port so that you can um, uh, you know, plug in streaming sticks. You've got full storage above the TV. And then back here you have an additional storage shelf. It's kind of dark, it's a little hard to see, but it does sneak back there above the outside kitchen. So over here by your little dining nook, you've got a couple things going on. So you see the right now that there's you know two full-time chairs. Then I've got one of those chairs folded up. But what's nice is you do still get a very big complement of windows here around the door side of the RV. And additionally, I also want to point out the fact that you do have a real window in the door, not just one of those little cloudy, glassy things. Now back to the dining arrangement, you see that you've got what I call a guest dining desk. You've got a pair of those fold away guest chairs. They can easily store in the front washer dryer area, the huge front eight foot closet, or even under the bed because Eagles do benefit from full under bed storage, which not everything in this category has. The gas strut does make this easy lift. There is an extension leaf also for guest use. Now over here in the kitchen, this thing opens up into, uh, to, to really offer a lot more than what you would respect. So um, let's start up here in this front corner. We've got this corner pantry up front with motion sense lighting. So that'll kick on when you need it, where you need it. It won't be left on burning up your batteries if you're dry camping. And then we've got the larger four door refrigerator freezer here. That's 12 cubic feet gas electric, which is our preference here at Halet RV. We are not super big fans of the residential refrigerators. If you'd like to know why we feel that way, please give us a call. Now, this is what I call not an ounce of space gone to waste. That's nerdism number 37 if you've been following along with most of my videos. They even include drawers below the oven, below the refrigerator, and here in the kitchen they're actually all residential soft close drawers, which is nice, and you can see that they're giving you drawers to the floors right here. They don't waste anything. They're all plywood boxed with hardwood cabinet door frames, and they're four-sided uh, plywood box. There's a difference there. I don't see many fifth wheel manufacturers not doing this, but instead of just like a, a simple Luan panel up front for that faceplate to screw onto, Jacobs go all the way around with the plywood. Now, you've got a recessed sink and stove right here to maximize our total prep area. And they actually had to use a non-stick-on um, tile backsplash on the back of this because their new uh, stove tops were burning so hot it was actually melting the glues. They had to use a, a superior material to handle that. Um, this is something I want to talk about right here. This little Furion mount. What is this thing? Well, it replaces the common two USB phone charger plug and you see it still has the two phone chargers on it, the two plugs, but um, it is basically preset for a specific Furion Bluetooth speaker, and uh, you can get those things off Amazon if you're interested. There are other less expensive Bluetooth speakers out there. They won't necessarily hook onto that mount, but basically that um, even if you don't use the, the speaker mount, that thing, the, the, the mount plus USB plugs, costs Jayco less than just two USB plugs, so it does give you the ability to expand without losing anything. And you're going to find that in various Eagle models, the location of those may vary. You usually have one in the kitchen um, and one somewhere in the outside area. In this case, it'll be in the outside kitchen to uh, be able to move a speaker around if you are so inclined. <clears throat> Extra little pocket up here, because again, nothing's wasted. And I love the little almost sort of rope look that they have in all their trim if you take a, uh, a notice there. But uh, one more thing here I want to zoom in on is the island. 
because uh, I, I think that's something that Eagle does very, very well. So it begins with the uh, the nicer solid surface countertops, and then you start looking at the variances here. Like at a glance, it looks like the same sink fixtures a lot of brands are using, but if you do the, the wedding ring test, basically, guys, it's bouncing away from me. You can hear the difference between a metal and a plastic fixture. They're using better materials here, just like they use throughout all of the Jayco construction on these things. Now, um, the uh, pop-up power post or the uh, household and USB power tower, whatever you want to call it, it's there when you want it, gone when you don't. And I love the asymmetrical nature of this countertop because it does give you that extra um, prep space even when the sink is in use. You always have that area right there. A quick little handy bonus drawer here in the kitchen is always handy for the campsite chef. Big pots and pans storage below, and you can see a big dedicated space for a larger waste basket in the bathroom, or pardon me, here in the kitchen is also cool. Now you have two things going on. You have both the um, roll away aluminum drying rack on that, as well as the uh, bamboo fitted sink cover on that dual stainless sink. Uh, so you've got two sink basins, and you've got that bamboo uh, cutting board right there. Now, from here forward, is where this and the 317 Eagle flip-flop one another effectively. But before we get there, I want to point something out. Right here what we have is the uh, one control system by LCI. So basically anything you can do on this pad you can do from your phone. And if I get a look here, you can see you can operate your awning, your auto leveling, your lighting, your slide outs. You can control all that stuff from your phone if you're so inclined. So it's neat is you can walk around the outside of the RV and you can push a button on your phone to make sure that slide can open up without crushing anything. Or uh, you can actually be in the cab of your vehicle and raise and lower the front leveling jacks to get hitched up more easily if you need to do that too. Kind of handy stuff. Now, as we kind of saw when the doors were closed, you do have that quick access half bathroom right here. And all the little detail stuff I want to point out, like they actually include a mirror on this door. Like they actually include locking bathroom doors in Jayco's. Not every brand does that. It's easy stuff to miss. Big leg room here in this half bath and a porcelain foot flush stool. Another thing that's very interesting here is uh, when you get into the bathrooms of Eagles, the decor changes. Um, so the decor in your house is probably different in the bathroom from the living room. That's the idea, to give you that sort of smart at-home feel. Now, the wood tones and things that we're looking at here, this is roughly what the uh, modern farmhouse is going to look like in comparison to the American tradition here. So even within this one RV, we can still get a, a, a good, fair assessment. Now, in the kitchen, we have solid surface counters. Everywhere else, we're going to have nice thermal foil countertops. And what that means, guys, is it's a sealed edge resin material that can still allow for an undermount sink. And there's the tile backsplash I was talking about that they can't put around their ovens. Now, another thing that's cool is you can see that we have a backlit mirror. So if you do or a guest need to sneak in here at night or in the morning real early and you're not, your eyes haven't acclimated to the light yet, you have a uh, that uh, backlighting just behind the mirror, which is enough to do your business and get in and out without, you know, blinding yourself necessarily. <coughs> Dang, nab it. Pardon me again. Master control panel will be all hidden away up here. And this kind of makes me laugh. Remember when John McCain and Barack Obama were both uh, running for president? And McCain sent out a bunch of these little things right here and that said, Obama's energy plan. And it was just, it was funny. Just take it for what it is. It was just funny. Well, now we're doing the same thing, but we're like, Goodyear's, boys, because these things run on Goodyear tires, which is actually uh, a very uncommon thing. They do have best-in-class tires. These things are, their Goodyear tires on these Jayco's are rated for up to 87 miles per hour, 80 PSI. So it is a nice little reminder right there. And uh, now, a lot of the stuff in here, like your slides, your awnings, you can control off this pad, but you don't have to. You don't have to use the digital pad. You always have a manual backup. Um, moving upstairs here, let me uh, shed some light on the situation. So up here in the master bedroom, there's a couple things I want to point out. First of all, we've got these dual element blue-white like reading spotlights above the bed. You tap it once, and you get the blue reading light. You tap and hold it, and suddenly now, blam, we get that nice bright white light. Now you have two different bed arrangements here. The uh, owner of this RV, because remember this is a custom-built unit strictly for a customer, um... They opted to stick with the standard 60 by 80 queen bed with the easy lift storage below. And in an Eagle, 
when you stick with the queen bed, you will maintain these side stands with thermal foil countertops that are plenty big for a CPAP machine and a storage pocket below. You can sacrifice the side stands to gain a king bed. And one of the questions I always have is would you prefer a queen bed with side stands and more room to walk around or a king bed with no side stands and less room to walk around? And the answer generally seems to be if I can get side stands and walk around it, a queen's okay. If, I'm go if I don't get those, like in the case of a cougar fifth wheel, if you get a queen bed, there's no stands or anything. It's just kind of a dead pocket. So people say, well, throw a king in there and I'll deal with it because I sleep in the bed longer than I make the bed. And I understand that. Now, this thing up here throws people off. Because when you hear the word loft, you are more generally uh, ex expecting a toy hauler in a fifth wheel. And that is, this is not really the intention of sleeping. Maybe if you've got a small grandkid, they could curl up here. This is what I call why not space. Instead of wasted space, it's why not space. Because this is directly above the half bathroom. Most half bathrooms go all the way up to the ceiling. Why, why do you need a 12 foot tall half bathroom? You don't. You really don't. So I said, you know what? We're going to open this up in the bedroom. It'll make the bedroom look and feel bigger. And you can always throw totes and storage and everything else there. And they do include a nice little built-in ladder to get up there. And man, I am sorry if I sound terrible because I am really fighting these allergies today. <coughs> Case in point. There you go. So if you add the second air, uh, you'll find that right here in the uh, bedroom. And remember, this is going to be a larger 15,000 BTU air on an Eagle when you add the second AC. Bedside cross breeze windows. Let me close the ladder behind me here. Big window here in the uh, bedroom area for lots of light, although you do have near blackout uh, pleated shades you pull down on top of that. The other thing I want to point out here is look how tall this dresser is. Like You're like, yeah, there's a dresser at the bed, and you tend to tune out, but you see those four drawers on top? That's how much extra space you're getting in the Eagle dresser in the bedroom here, how much extra storage compared to most they're giving you more storage and more drawers here, and that's something a lot of people don't seem to realize. It's a very key point. Little things, too, like little door stoppers so that this handle doesn't bang up the wall. Extra smart details like that go a long way. Um, moving up here. This is another one of those areas I'm going to start referring to eagles as being smarter. Eagles are very smart. Now, kind of like the backlit morning mirror, you see that blue LED light up there? And you can kind of get an idea, if you look around the shower enclosure, how it's how much light it actually is casting around, especially against the very light-colored shower enclosure here, um, how, how it can help you at night, once again, get through here without um, you know getting blinded, necessarily. So we've got an easy step-in shower, no big tub, though we do maintain a quarter, uh, corner seating area for those in need. And... Dang it. Dang it, I sound like death warmed over in this thing. Let me get inside this bathroom because this is huge. So what they did here, like compare this to, say, the, the Pinnacle front bathroom. It's the same basic concept, and it's really not much shorter. It's just smarter. They didn't go overboard on things that are just pretty to look at. Like you still have a nice porcelain foot flush stool. You go to a single sink here instead of a double sink, but it does help to maintain uh, a more manageable um, hitch weight on this. And uh, another thing that this has going on for it is some pretty good storage capacity here in this bathroom. And to give you a good look at the storage here in the bathroom real quick, I did want to take just a hot second to open everything right up. Now what's neat is because your front closet is not fighting for washer dryer space, you actually have this really big, deep wraparound cavity. And a lot of people are really uh, happy when they get that sort of shelf unit there in the front of the nose cap. Now there is storage uh, shelving on both sides of the nose area here in the closet. I like that extra lighting up top just to help be able to see in there. Camera kind of struggles with a hard light dark contrast like this so hopefully you're getting the idea. But what's neat about this one is this is one of the very few Eagles where you can put a bigger washer and dryer, not a combo washer dryer setup. Um, something you don't normally find until you get up into the Big Brother North Point. One of the things that really strikes me on this one is how much awning space it has. Because if you look at the main body of the RV, you can see there's a very generously sized awning there. LED lights under it, of course. But even on the face of the super slide, covering the outside kitchen, and on a day like today, maybe the camera's not seeing it, but it actually is kind of drizzling a little bit right now. 
that's when you're really going to appreciate that second awning. Now, I would like to have it open for you, but we're actually a little short on space, and it got packed a little too close to that Wolfpack fifth wheel next to us there. So you, you have just a tremendous amount of awning capacity here. Now, you're going to find a lot of smarter features. That's kind of the general theme, I think, of this video, is that the Eagle front bath, it's just smarter than some other front baths. Maybe not bigger, and maybe you do want that extra space for full-time living, but again, for towing and going, I think this one's a little smarter. And smart features like having your speakers installed in the skirt of the RV instead of way up high in the walls. One, it eliminates a potential leak and flex point in the wall, and two, it puts the speakers down where you can actually hear them. Now, this does have a full outside utility shower on the other side, but you'll see right here it has a simple cold water sprayer port just for some simple campsite cleanups. And doing all the extra little things like that is kind of a, you know, every everyday eagle sort of situation. Now, instead of magnet latches, because magnet latches, it, from Jayco's testing, what they have felt is that in a high wind situation, if you flip the baggage door against the wall and it magnet latches, there could be enough wind to get behind it to drop it down on your head. So the gas threading these, but you still have the, the nice slam latches and you still have the protected hinges. And that's what's kind of cool on Eagle. I've probably mentioned it already, but again, it kind of has the features of a North Point in something the size of a Cougar. That's kind of who Eagle is through and through right there. Now, uh, this has a, uh, I mean, just a big, generous pass-through, but what's cool is there's actually more outside storage on the other side of the RV, but I want to point out the, uh, this is the same sort of uh, industrial flooring that they use in the, the garages of Talons and Seismics, the big Jayco fifth-wheel toy haulers, and motion-sensitive lights here, and you're going to find more of those uh, throughout the Eagle all over the place. Now, this is fully skirted, which is kind of cool, and that's why there's that little access port there if you do decide to run some outside TV cables through there. Um... Up front, we are uh, set for four batteries. This is the standard front configuration. There is the Eagle Dry Camp package, which will make this generator ready. Um, actually, that's what this has on is the Eagle Dry Camp package. It makes a generator ready and um, has an additional propane tank. This is not standard. Again, this is a customer special ordered unit, so there are some things on this that are atypical from what I would normally talk about on a given day. Now this has, uh, in your North Points and Pinnacles, they call it a five-star handling package. So I guess on the Eagle, you call it a four-star handling package because there's only one variance. But they both have the Moride pin box and suspension to give you that rubber shock dampening for smoother, easier riding. Dexter axles, the Goodyear tires, they have the same basic things going on here. Another thing that uh, Eagle introduced to the marketplace is what's called smart lighting. Basically, guys, the way this works is it begins with the fact that you have all LED tail and marker lights on Eagles. Now, if you flip on your side turn signal, the right side turn signal, the driver's side, that marker light, the upper clearance lights, all of the lights down the side will actually blink along with that, which is a very cool safety feature. Stuff that's existed on uh, like tractor trailers for a long time, but just never in the towable RV business. So here's a look at the opposite side of the pass-through. It gives you very quick, easy access to the battery disconnect switch. Another thing that's nice is because these doors are strutted, you don't have to like, uh, you know, have a little cheap plastic holdback that's going to get brittle in the sun and fail and fall apart. Now they give you this cool little easy access auto leveling panel right here, and I like that you don't have to open a baggage door to get to it. Now if you're not keen on the idea of this little thumb lock, you actually can replace that with a simple key lock to keep people out. <coughs> Pardon me. So because we have an extended upper deck with a middle bedroom and an extra large front bathroom, they were able to have some extra outside storage capacity, and that's what we're looking at here. I call this the why not storage, the little tool chest area, and once again, motion sensitive. And we do have a fully privatized uh, control center right here, docking center, so that uh, your gate valves are all uh, protected, heated, and closed, and we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Simple black tank flush and SantaCon. I really should have had this open. Let's see if I can try to do this one-handed. I have successfully managed a few times previous. And just Oh, there we go. That worked easy. So long story short, you don't actually need to bring a sewer hose or anything with you. The sewer, hose, the attachments, all that stuff is built in. What this basically has, guys, think of like a kitchen garbage disposal built onto the bottom of your black tank. What it'll do is it'll chew up any sort of solid mass and break up any solid mass, and then it has a power exhaust. So it will empty your gray and black holding tanks twice as fast as just a standard gravity dump situation. Um, it is 12 volt operated. All Eagles are pre-prepped for it. Any Jayco that can have SantaCon is pre-prepped for it. 
and we have not had to work on these things. They have had just beyond exceptional reliability records and customers have been very happy with them to the point we really recommend it on anything we can and we put it on everything we can. It works that well for us. So uh, we've got a uh, two inch receiver hitch on the back here and uh, that is for things like bike racks. This is not a towing hitch. It's like a bike rack hitch. It's, it's an accessory hitch. It doesn't have the same structure and uh, weight ratings as a towing hitch. There's a difference there. The Eagle HTs actually have a towing hitch. So if you're kind of, uh, if you like this living room, but you're, uh, you need to tow something smaller, look at the 28.5 RSTS or the 30.5 um, uh, CKTS Eagle HTs. And I think you'll be happy with what you find. Those are uh, models we always have on hand here at Halet RV. So you do have the outside kitchen there, but you do also have a bumper mount uh, uh, or a bumper grill connect down here. If you choose to add an additional grill, you can do all that, no sweat. Over here in the outside kitchen, remember we are protected. Not only do we have the, the overhead door, but we'll also have the full second awning protecting us. And we have galvanized rolled steel countertops and these hot burning capital grills. It's not a stove top, it's a real grill. It burns hotter, more evenly, and does better cooking. Now, um, you'll find uh, various, like there's, uh, just like we saw the bathroom blue LED lights, there's actually like a strip of that uh, around up in here somewhere to give you some evening lighting. And then of course we have some more bright LED lighting with more of that uh, pocket screwed cabinetry with hidden hinges that's all self strutted and self supporting above. Now we are set up for outside TV hookups here. And uh, just like we saw in the kitchen, uh, the location does vary, but outside in Eagle Family Trailers, you're going to find one of those little portable Bluetooth speaker mounts with the USB chargers. Again, the speaker not included, but the chargers are still there. <coughs> Dang it, pardon me. Fighting off those allergies. And a bigger outside refrigerator mounted a little bit lower so it is easier to get to. And what's nice is you can keep drinks out here and keep your food inside. Now, um, your frameless windows will be standard on the, uh, this series, and it uh, gives the RV a sleek look, and it hides the um, seals behind the UV-tinted pane. Now, I want to talk about warranties and um, insulation, because those are two things that there's a lot of misinformation about out there in the industry. First of all, there's no such thing as a three-year warranty. Jayco has the longest full RV warranty anywhere close to this RV segment, and they have the longest full RV warranty uh, compared to anybody out there in any segment in which you find uh, a Jayco towable RV. So there's either a one-year or two-year RV warranty. Now there are these three-year structural warranties and they are not created equally. Some of them cover next to nothing. And some of them, if you decide you wanted to put a bike rack hitch on the back of a fifth wheel, you're going to void that structural warranty. So suddenly that three years is good for nothing. Jayco doesn't have smoke and mirrors uh, when it comes to their warranties. They cover more things longer for greater peace of mind. Another thing they don't have smoke and mirrors on is their cold camp testing. They were maybe the very first manufacturer who went through and started cold camp testing and hot camp testing every single floor plan they make in their entirety of their fifth wheel lineup. All Eagles are and have been zero to 100 degree rated. Now, not only, there's a lot of things that can be, like a, a Cougar fifth wheel can maintain 40 degrees in the underbelly in a zero degree scenario. That's good, that's above freezing. A Jayco maintains 58. And there's all these guys who talk about how they have an R40 and R52 roof, but they don't have the, uh, any, uh, they actually have inferior cold camp records as compared to Jayco's. Isn't that funny? how these guys are getting the job done better. Well, things like double-sided thermofoil instead of single-layer hot dog paper. I call it that because it's easier to understand what it is. The hot dog paper stuff is fine. This is better. There's good and there's better. And Jayco uses better. Um, now they have a fully enclosed forced air heated insulated underbelly, a layer of uh, residential batten and thermofoil in the belly. You can see the thermofoil up there. It goes all the way across the gooseneck, even above the pin box. It has an insulated uh, upper deck. Um, even above the pin box. There's no insulation gaps. Wraps around the nose cap all the way across the top of the roof and even through the slide floors. So when brands like to say that they go the extra mile, all they're doing is copying what's already been done in the industry for years by Jayco with a lesser effective material. A decent material, but not as good as the Jayco. And I just got a raindrop on the lens. Now up here on the roof, there's a couple things I want to talk about. The standard air conditioner that we're looking at here on an Eagle is always going to be a 15,000 BTU. You don't have to upgrade to that. If you do add the second AC from the factory, 
That is also a 15,000 BTU, and it's kind of funny because uh, in what is technically a bigger fifth wheel, the Montana High Country, if you added a bedroom AC to that last year, it was only a 13.5. Because Eagles were using the big airs, the Montana High Country stepped up to 15 plus 15. So that's how impactful these guys are. As one of the top three selling fifth wheels uh, last year, they have a huge impact on what other brands do in the industry. There's always guys watching Jayco. There's always guys watching Eagles to see what's coming next. They've become a very cutting edge brand. Um, the uh, 360 siphon cap here, that was a, uh, I don't know if it was a Jayco first, but they were one of the first to go across the board with it. Basically, guys, it's like an upside down airplane wing. And what it does is it promotes better airflow from your black tank so that you don't have backflow of um, odors coming through the half bath or the main bath. With this one having two toilets, and uh, it actually has two of those things. Now, over here, we are prepped and ready, not just for side mount solar, but for roof solar as well. So if you do want to put solar panels on the roof, this one is all set to do it. And another thing here is in your main bathroom area, you have a uh, basically like a rainproof fan. So you can kick that fan on and get airflow anytime without worry of uh, rain back flowing into this. Now, another thing I want to talk about is construction because that is something that Eagle does differently from the bulk of the market. We carry a lot of different brands as you can see right here, guys. There's a lot of different fifth wheels we represent and they're all great in different ways. I've always felt and I do truly believe that every RV is the best in a different way, even the ones I don't carry. So the question is, why, why, what are they doing well? Well, on an Eagle, one of the first things that's different is underneath that roof membrane, you're walking on plywood, and that's not normal. Normally, you've got OSB roof decking throughout most of the RV industry, especially in fifth wheels, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's okay, but if you ask someone, would you rather have OSB or plywood, usually they say plywood. Now, instead of 4x8 sheets of OSB, using 4x8 sheets of tongue and groove plywood it adds a greater load capacity, and that, in conjunction with Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system, gives this a 5,200, pardon me, 4,800 pound rated roof. That is the heaviest rated roof in the towable business. You know, that is something they do better. They're on thicker, heavier trusses. They use bigger, larger, stronger nail plates. Open Range does use a nearly identical roof system. They just don't talk about it is what's kind of funny. <laughs> Um, the uh, sidewalls, laminated, aluminum framed, two inch on a full Eagle H or Jayco Eagle, inch and a half on an Eagle HT. Your, uh, your flooring, you've got two by three aluminum studs running every 12 inches on center down the length of the trailer, and that allows for heat runs to run through the middle, which again is more superior in terms of efficiency and airflow, which is one of the reasons if you're looking for cold camp usage, this is one of the brands that's more efficient and more effective in doing so. Better insulation in more areas with better airflow accomplishes a greater cold camp testing. Now, if it's better in cold camping, it'll also hold up better in hot camping. The one just goes with the other, basically. Whether you're trying to keep heat in or out, Whatever you're trying to do, it's more efficient. Um, and you have 5 8 tongue and groove plywood uh, floor decking. It's not lighter weight, it's heavier built for longer term use and ownership. So if you're looking for the last one you ever want to own, this one definitely qualifies for that kind of construction to be able to hold up long term. So whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, or everything in between, we do it all here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.